So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. And then you want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search twenty for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. I'm also going to leave a link down below for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I download the GeForce experience. I'm going to leave all these links down below, by the way. So now once you download your software, you want to go to it. And then you want to click on the drivers tab. And then you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that through the software itself, you have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card. And now for the second step, you want to head over to your Steam library. And then you want to find the game that you're having a problem with. So you want to right click on your game. And then click on properties. And then you want to click on installed files. And then you want to click on browse. And now once you're on this, you want to find your game.exe file. You want to right click on it. And then click on properties. And then you want to click on compatibility. And then you want to make sure that you have the disabled full screen optimization selected, run this program as administrator selected, and run this program in compatibility mode selected for Windows 8. And then click on OK. And now once you've done that, you want to head back into Steam. You want to right click on your game, click on properties, click on installed files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in display settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. And then you want to make sure that your scale and your display resolution have both been set to your recommended option. Put them both on the recommended option that you have. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And now for the last step, you want to head back into Steam and you want to find your game. You want to right click on your game and then click on properties. And you want to make sure that you're in the general tab. Now once you're in the general tab, under launch options, you want to type in dash DX11. Now you want to close this out. And then you want to open up your game, see if that fixes the problem for you. If that did not fix your problem, you want to right click on your game again and then click on properties. And then you want to set your launch option to dash DX12 instead. Now once you've done that, you want to close this out. And then you want to start your game, see if that fixes the problem for you. If the problem is still not fixed, you want to right click on your game again, click on properties. And then you want to take off this launch option. So remove it and have nothing in the launch options. And then when you do that, you just want to restart your computer. And then the steps that you completed earlier should then fix your problem. So just restart your computer either way and then your problem should be fixed.